CSS variables allow you to create individual style values such as colors and use them throughout your site. That way, if you're going to add a border, for example, you don't need to manually type in your color or create a token just for your border color field. You can access all of your predefined variables directly in the style inputs. Let's create our first CSS variable by heading up to the global root. While you can define variables anywhere, the ones defined on global root are accessible on all instances on every page. So I'm gonna head down to the advanced tab and click plus and always start with dash dash and then my variable name. I'm gonna call this primary 500 and this is going to be my primary color. I'm gonna click my box and give it a border. In my color field, I'm gonna access the variable I created by doing dash dash and all of my variables will show up here. I have just one for now and select it. You can also search just by the variable name. The autocomplete is very flexible and I'm gonna give a bigger width right here so we can see my color. And then this variable I can reuse throughout all my different color fields and I can give it a background color as well. Now really we should be using variables for any of the style inputs that have a lot of different values like sizes and colors. And to kick your project off, you can head over to the marketplace and insert craft. Craft is the standard guidelines for building with Web Studio and included in it is a predefined list of CSS variables built on open props. I just inserted it from the marketplace. And now when I go to my box, I'm gonna change the background color and do dash dash. And I can see I have a lot more variables at my disposal. And now as I arrow through them, I can see the different colors rendered on the canvas in real time, helping me decide, well, what is the best color I wanna use here? Now you might be wondering, aren't tokens for reusing different styles? Yes, and so are CSS variables. So what really is the difference? Well, CSS variables are for reusing individual styles like colors and sizes. Tokens are for packaging up multiple of those styles into a reusable design. So for this right here, I've got several different styles going on and I want to convert this into a token and I'm gonna call this card. Now my card token contains several different styles, often including many CSS variables. There's another really cool thing that CSS variables unlocks, and that's the ability to interact with a parent and modify the children. So right here, I've got a menu, and when I hover over the link, my icon changes colors, the arrow transforms by moving left to right, and the opacity changes. These things are made possible by CSS variables, and if you wanna learn how to do it, check the description below for a separate tutorial. All in all, CSS variables enable you to create highly maintainable and consistent designs and at a lot faster pace by defining all of your individual styles like colors and font sizes and accessing them in your different style inputs.